Can you get that for me? Yeah. I don't know who could be coming over this late. You spike and company? No. What about you? No. Get down. What is, I can see. what is this all about? Move. Hey, stop hey. asking questions, school. Hey. Get on the floor. Hey, man, listen. I don't know what somebody told you, but you got the wrong house. We don't have any money here. Please, just take whatever you want. Just don't hurt my daughter my niece, please. Hey, lady, stop talking. You're making me nervous. Just don't say anything to him, okay? Okay. I got this. Ooh. Oh. Mm, Give me your jeans. Give me everything that's in that safe. Better get it. Give me every valuable thing that's in this house. Yeah, just give it to him, okay? Everything is replaceable. <laughs> not my grandmother's ring. Hey, lady, you gonna die for it if you don't give it up. <laughs> give it up now, I'll put a hot one in your belly. Oh, just give it to him, it's not worth your life. Please, Aunt Keisha, please, don't do this. Not worth your life, please. No. Please. <laughs> please, give him the ring. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Michelle, are you okay? I can't believe you did that. The doctor said I might never be able to walk again. I told you about my mom's rings. I told you it was worth millions. I didn't think anyone was gonna get hurt. <laughs> so you did know those guys? One of them was my boyfriend. I'm so sorry. So you told them to come to my house to take my mom's ring? I didn't know that they were gonna have guns. I just thought they were gonna try and scare you all. And now, you're gonna be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. Real smart, Michelle. No, I didn't, I didn't think that this was gonna happen. I'm really sorry. I told you about that ring in secrecy, and you sent those thugs to my house to what? Take the ring and sell it for a couple of hundred dollars? Well, they said they could get half a million for it, so I figured, you know, I could give some of the money to y'all since your dad just lost his job, and All of the money in the world will not get your legs back. I know, I'm sorry. Man, I said we're gonna call the cops. No, please don't call the cops. I, I can't go to jail like this. Family or not, what you did was wrong. My wife could have lost her life. You may have lost your legs, but you still have to pay for what you did. I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. I didn't, I really didn't mean for any of this to happen. Michelle, you are my youngest sister's daughter. And after she passed away, I told her that I would take care of you. And this is how you repay me? I'm sorry. Would you guys be able to forgive me? Ma'am, you're under arrest. And you have the right to remain silent. We are not pressing charges, officer. She almost had us killed. What are you talking about? I'm not going to be the one to send her off to jail. Well, it's fine you're not pressing charges, but I am. No, please. I'm sorry. Please. Listen, you're going to have to start making better choices, young lady. You can't be hanging out with these thugs. We want all their information. I'm sorry. <sighs> yes, OK. I can give you where they live and where they work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get this all over with. I got other stuff to do today. No, we are not going to send her to jail. As a matter of fact, we're going to send her to reform school. What? Mm -hmm. Well, she's still going to have to come in for questioning so that she can identify the perpetrators that did the home invasion. The moral of the story is, never bite the hand that feeds you. Family will be there for you, even when the streets turn on you. Do good unto others, so good can be done unto you.